That night, Thomas told his friends all about his contest with Spencer. He was going to tell them about Hero, but Sir Topham had arrived. Tomorrow, you will all have a very busy day. Your jobs will start especially early. So, Thomas, don't puff round the island pulling heavy loads or any other silly ideas. I need really useful engines, not really broken ones. Yes, sir. Now, Thomas didn't dare tell his friends about Hero. Sir Topham Hatt had spoken. No broken engines. The next day, Thomas had a very busy morning. But he wasn't happy. He wanted to be with Hero. Just then, Percy puffed up. You look worried, Thomas. What's the matter? Thomas looked at his best friend. He always told Percy everything. I found the oldest engine on Sodor. His name is Hero. Bust my buffers! Where? I'll show you later. I promise. He needs us to look after him. Will you help me? Of course I will, Thomas. What can I do? Please will you take this flatbed of farm machinery to Farmer McCall for me. But what shall I do with my mail cars? Leave them somewhere safe. Somewhere right off the track. Later, you can deliver the mail. Now I must chuff away to Hero as quickly as I can. Percy was excited. He was happy to help Thomas. Percy had puffed a long way. He was on tracks he didn't know. He was looking for somewhere to hide his mail cars. Must find somewhere right off the track. My cars must be safe until I get back. This is the perfect place to leave my cars. No one will find them here. Thomas huffed happily towards Hero's hideout. He was so busy thinking about helping Hero that he didn't see Spencer steaming up behind him. What are you doing here, Thomas? You're a long way from your branch line. I'm on my way to Brendam Docks. Thomas raced away from Spencer and the summer house as quickly as his pistons would pump. This is very strange. Very strange indeed. Thomas didn't dare chuff to Hero until much later. I thought you weren't coming, Thomas. I told you, Hero, I'm not going to let you down. Then, Thomas's engineer and assistant engineer opened their toolboxes and started work. Soon, Hero's piston rods were in place. I'll come back with more parts for you, Hero. Thank you, Thomas. Please don't get into trouble for me. I'm an old engine. And I will make you new again. Bye, Hero. Thomas was pumping home as fast as his pistons could pump. He was late. He had to pump past the summer house. Thomas, you're up to something, aren't you? Thomas didn't answer. He chucked quickly away. Spencer followed close behind. Thomas was puffing fast. Then he saw Percy at the water tower. Percy looked sad. I popped a valve when I was pulling the heavy farm machinery. Thomas felt sorry for his friend. Spencer had followed Thomas. He seemed to a stop. Dear, oh dear, Percy. You should let a stronger engine pull the heavy loads. Spencer chuffed on. I'm sorry, Percy. You were helping me. Now you've broken down. I'm worried, Thomas. I still haven't delivered the mail. Sir Topham Hatt will be cross. Don't worry, Percy. Tomorrow, I'll help you. Now I'll shunt you to the Sodor Steamworks. Victor will have you fixed in no time. All the way to the Sodor Steamworks, the two friends chattered and chuckled about Hero. The Sodor Steamworks was quiet. 
Victor was very surprised to see Thomas puff in with Percy. Flaming fireboxes! What's happened now, my friend? I asked Percy to pull my special for me. His valve popped. Why didn't you pull it yourself? Um, because I, uh... Because he... Oh! Then Thomas saw the old parts. He knew Hero needed them. He knew he would have to tell Victor about Hero. Victor, I need your help. We need your help. I'll always help you, my friend. What is it you need? So, Thomas told Victor about Hero. Victor was amazed. Very good. Looking after another engine is very important. Especially looking after an old engine. Tell Sir Topham Hatt. No, we can't do that yet. Hero's old and broken. Sir Topham Hatt might have to scrap him. But if we make Hero really useful again, he won't. Okay, I understand. Whatever I put in this corner of the yard, you can take. Thomas and Percy were very happy. Thank you, Victor. Okay, Percy, your turn to be fixed. That evening, Thomas popped into Tidmouth Sheds. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. He was cross. Thomas, I hear Percy was pulling your special instead of delivering the mail. And now, Percy's mail cars are missing. Thomas felt bad. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know where Percy's mail cars are. I will help Percy find them tomorrow. That's exactly what you'll do tomorrow. By my order! 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 Sir Topham Hatt's voice boomed round Tidmouth Sheds from top to tracks. Thomas's friends looked at him. They knew something strange was going on. Thomas, is everything all right? Thomas huffed a huge puff. He needed his friend's help. I have something very important to tell you. As the stars sparkled above Tidmouth, Thomas told them all about Hero. The engines had never heard such an amazing story.